I mean, Emotionless showed everybody in the champagne what a good horse he is. Mm. And um, to me, and I may be biased, I thought it was the most impressive performance by a two-year-old last year. Um, and uh, obviously, he then disappointed in the Dewhurst um, and, and came back lame and had a knee chip. So I think that was understandable. He's a very big, powerful horse, as you will all see. And going into the spring, I think... You know, early, early doors, Charlie was happy with them, but as he got closer and closer to the guineas, he just became a little bit... Um, uh, he, just, he just gave Charlie the indication that he was well, but he wasn't pinging. Mm. And um, Charlie spoke to Shea Muhammad, and, and we, we, we came to the conclusion that, that possibly this wasn't the right thing for him. He's now... We've obviously given him the time, and um, I think as a team, we couldn't be happy with him now. He's, he's is, looks is really he, well. Is he pinging now? Is he, yeah. is he in great Yeah, name? he looks really well. And, and I think that he's a, he's a horse that um, I think he'll acquit himself well. We, we've, we've, um, our, John Gosden left Simric in, and we've asked him to, to run Simric, and Simric will run as a pacemaker. Perfect. And, um, and I, think, I think that there are three Guineas winners in the race, so the race deserves massive respect, but I think there are four horses with a chance of winning it.